Hello! Welcome to me, Suffering at Heart, where I'm going to make a short lo-fi kind of style animation on Ibis Paint. What you are looking at is a sketch I've done just an hour ago. You can see, I've remade this four times, and it was basically a pain to get right. I don't want to talk about on how I totally didn't fail on one of the art pieces, so no. It's also on our trade with my art senpai lately, so check her out on her insta. I'm so sorry it took so long senpai. Without further ado, let's just jump into it. Oh wait, it's 3am in the morning. After hours. It's 6 in the morning, and I totally have a good sleeping schedule. So I decided to work on it for a bit. I tried to use the colors on my previous attempt, and it was pain. The color seems off and it doesn't really match on what I'm envisioning on my mind. This went on for a couple of hours but no matter how much I try to fix it, I end up making it worse and worse. But that's a problem for future me to hopefully fix it. Hey future me here, here's a question to my past self. What the f I tried to fix a drawing and not gonna lie, me being a dummy thick bitch. I ignored the problem and made the character instead. My mindset was like, oh well I can fix this later, it's not a big of a problem, everything is fine. Oh god. Now, to the average viewer, I bet you're thinking, it's not that bad, come on, don't be so dramatic. To my reply, I agree, it's not bad. I've made worse, trust me. But it ain't good enough for me. I must become stronger. I must capture the aesthetic. And this, this ain't it, Chief. I was this close to giving up this piece for the fifth time, so I took a break. I also had some time to self-reflect. My god, Rainder, have I lost it? Am I just bad at art all of a sudden? What happened, man? I thought you were good at coloring at some point. So I had to suck in my own inability of imperfection. Yeah, that's fun. But then, after a lot of self-loathing, my mind just goes, Shut up, dude. Let me put this into scale. This is a full body image with a hard perspective, it has a background, complicated shading, and on top of all that, it's gonna be animated. And from what I've seen, you barely drew full bodies with background nowadays. You clearly didn't lose it, so just calm down and practice. We can settle on a plan. So, with this brand new kind of motivation, it drives me to want to finish my art at least. so i have done the whole drawing yes it took me a week to finish but hey art takes time i'm not some kind of sweatshop okay nothing to be ashamed of of being a slow artist plus i really need to not always pressure myself and take my time i like the challenge but lately i've been feeling pressured I think it's because of Instagram and social media. Sometimes I feel like it's not even fun to draw, like, I don't know, I can't describe it. So yeah, the break I had was really needed. Nowadays, my friends watch me draw and that makes me feel a lot more better. It's kind of funny that I'm losing followers on Instagram right now because I'm taking a break, but on YouTube, I've been gaining subscribers. Thanks for 400 subs, by the way, it means a lot. But yeah, it makes me feel like it's not me that is the problem, it's Instagrams. Maybe the followers just don't like me anymore, who knows? I don't know. I'm not gonna go in detail since Instagram is not the main topic of this. But I think letting out my weaknesses and how I feel makes people understand, including me, to understand that it's okay to feel this way. It's nothing to be ashamed of of being sad. But now I'm on the detailing process, so yeah. So, I'm sort of done with this finished artwork, I just needed a little bit of a touch and stuff. 
for example, this little thing. Yep, there we go. Where is that layer? That 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 dot layer. Here, I I just want to remove this one. You can see this. I don't want this. Man, I should really organize these. <gasps> I found it. The difference is that this one versus this. Wait. Oh, that's not the layer. Well, God, this is so embarrassing. Um, hello? Where? Where is it? I can't find it. Oh, I found it. Yes. I'm just gonna put this way over here so I don't forget. Folder. List. Dots. Put this over here, over here. You don't get to see the light of day. Right now, I just gotta slap that watermark, steal or no stealing, and we're on to the final phase, the animation. I'm planning to do a little bit of tweening on cute cut and some overlays of the smoke and effects of old timey stuff. I don't know what it's called. I used the app called Pixel Loop at the stage if you're all curious. I also wanted to do some camera movement, but I want to make a blinking animation so that would make it a little hard to do if I render out the camera movement first. On a phone at least. But anyways, I wanted to make a blinking animation on Cute Cut, and I made this terrifying eyeless version of her. And of course, her own eyes. And then after that, I realized I should have animated the eyeless version instead because Pixel Loop doesn't have a way to change photos after you animate. Great, no worries, it's not that bad. I can just do the whole thing again. A little bit of time wasted, but that's okay. Now, you viewers might think, I have no idea on what you are doing, but I'm gonna pretend that you know what you're doing. Don't worry, you don't need to think like that. I don't know what I'm doing either. Most of the time, I made a mistake and everything just goes wrong. I mean, have you seen my failed attempts? Thank god I didn't fuck this shit up this time. Now I just gotta animate the eyes and BOOM! This is the final product. My suffering has been paid.